Tell us your name. My name is Chukunaru Festus. How old are you? I'm 26 How years old. Where do you stay? I stay at number 86. I work on the street, Coca bus stop. What do you do for a living? I sell square <coughs> parts. I sell electronics. I'm, I'm a picking pocket. I don't rob. Do you know this man? I don't know this man. A friend of mine who attend the same secondary school, who attend Lasso, told me to Kevin, and I did not know that Kevin robbed me. I did not carry gun, neither they see gun in my hand, neither they see anything in my hand. I was, I go on my own walk at a pickpocket. I don't use gun to thirty people. So where do you do your pickpocketing? I do it between Alaba, my two, Yanoba. Okay. So how come you followed Kevin out yesterday? Thank you very much. Yesterday was Sunday morning. I was in my two. I want to follow. <coughs> I want to pick a man pocket. So I saw Kevin. I saw, how much did you pick? How much did you pick from him? Hmm? I, did you not hear my statement? Okay. I want to pick the okay, man. You wanted to pick I'm washing the man okay. at the post stop. So the man was closer to me. So fortunately, I was just targeting the man. If he would walk a little bit, so I would pick his money. Then I saw Kevin blow with a bike coming. As she was blowing with a bike and I say, what am I doing here? So I tell her that I want to pick this man pocket. And what is the language that people use for it? He's picking pocket now. So when you were explaining to Kevin, is it pick pocket you told him or there was another slant? No, I don't, I don't have another slant. Okay, go on. So now, the guy who I want to pick the pocket, take on a bike. So I follow him. Say, let me work on this man. So I follow the man. So I don't know that there is a place called Okota Abi where they call it. I go, I don't even know that place. So the bike drive there on the along the express. Is it along the express on back of my two? No, it's not back of my two. This ah. Osho the my two express. Room. No, it's not Osho the my two. Inside the go at the. Okay. I don't know where they're calling the place. I go Palace Way. I don't either, uh, along the road uh, because it was too divided by block. So, uh, so the man was coming now. Uh, I did not know that Kevin was in my back with this guy. I did not know this guy before. If if. He thought, I thought that he and Kevin are going in there. Um, so, as the man was coming, so I jumped down on the ghost loop. So I, I quickly went to go and made the man to pick a pocket. So he bike moved. So I ran to my bike. And when we went to my bike, I just saw some four boys talking that what I want to pick on that man pocket, that what, that they have been looking, I want to take that man money. I said, no, I don't want to take the man money. That is the OPC, so they gather me. So before I know now, they brought this man. He died yesterday that OPC, because I'm the one the OPC that first cash caught because I explained to them, yes, I mean I'm an picking pocket, there's nothing to lie about. I say I'm in picking pocket, there's nothing to lie about. I pick pocket. I don't even follow people that use gun. I go on my own. If I want to go, maybe I will buy a newspaper. Sometimes I buy a magazine, I put it in political alarm bag. I can sit down with you like this. So I put the political alarm bag on your front. You will not know that I want to take your money. So before you now take your money and come down. So I don't have any person that used to follow me because that is not an two man or three man, just an only one man walk. So now the OPC now come yesterday and they came. So they now harassed me. See, they asked me, I know this man. See, I don't know this man. They asked me, I see, I don't know this man. 
But the person I'm giving out run away. That's why about I'm I mean picking pocket, I don't follow anybody. I have parents due to misunderstanding between me and my parents. That's why I went to go and pick pocket. That is my own. Okay. Was it OPC that beat this man like this? It's OPC that beat him now. Uh, my guy is here now. Okay. My guy can confirm. Okay. It's OPC that beat me. We are the first cash two guys. We are slowly with bike. I don't even know where they came from. So, as you know, so I told you that as I get down, you can collect the man money, the bike mm. move. I did not know that people are washing, washing me. So, when I get back to my bike, so my bike just to move a little bit. I just saw about four boys say I should come that that down. They are watching that I want to pick this man pocket. I want to collect the, the money on this man pocket. So I decided dragging with them. So no, no. So they started, started beating me. So one of the the OPC member come and say, there are no worries there that if I say the truth, that he will go and call the police to come and rescue me. But if I did not say the truth, they will not call anybody and they will kill me. So I call him, I say, yes, I'm, I'm in the picking pocket. I cannot lie. I want to take that man. Mm. So the OPC now beat me, beat me before fashion come, before the policeman came and rescued me. Okay. When you were coming, yes. and Kevin were following you behind, yes. did you know that Kevin were carrying, they were holding gun? No. You did not know? I did not know. Okay. You heard what this man said just now? Yes. That Kevin told him that they are going after a lecturer who diverted his business or their business. Yes. So, how come that it is the same area that you are going that Kevin and this man is also going? I follow that man on my own. I don't know that the man is going to Ago. Or Ago. You can hear the statement of this one that Kevin telling that he should come with him. That, that, that maybe that tracing lecturer or something like that. You understand? But me, I know Kevin, but I don't know this man. Okay. Did you tell Kevin that? You are going to follow that man? Yes, I you cannot lie, him. yes. And he now decided to follow you? Yes. Good. You know that Kevin has been robbing, has been an arm robber before? Hmm? You know that Kevin is an arm robber? I don't know Kevin is an arm robber because we don't move together. He's not my close friend. It's through one of my friends who attend the secondary school that I know Kevin. And that one doesn't know that I'm a big pocket. Okay. Did you attend your secondary school here in Lagos? Yes. Okay. Now, when you go to Ago, and the man you wanted to pick his pocket, his bike moved, how did Kevin manage to escape? I don't know. So Was Kevin and this boy on the same bike, or they were on different bikes? No. I saw this guy and Kevin. On the same bike? On the same bike. Okay. What of the Okada road, the bike rider? Okada rider. They, I did not see the Okada rider. Just only you and this boy. Uh, that you know if you see Kevin. Yeah. It was that man's pocket that you wanted to pick that yes. brought you to Ago. Yes. How many times have you come to Ago before? I don't know no Ago. Even though I even I know Ago, the Okada will not catch me. The OPC people will not catch me. Even the boy that took me to there doesn't know that area. Supposing you know the area. I've like escaped, I've given, I've escaped, because I did not know the area. Okay. Did you shatter the bike? Eh? Did you shatter the, the bike? So how much were you going to pay the bike before? I tell the bike that I want to follow this man and pick this man's pocket. Like no matter anything in the man's pocket, that like I will share you and you good money. But meanwhile, you just relax. Just take me to anywhere the man was going because when we are entering through Ago, the the Okada boy was telling him that he doesn't know this place. So I said I doesn't know this place. I said it's okay, you know what there. Just follow the man. Maybe go slow will be along the road. So I will come down. When I come down, I will take the man money. So he will turn back. So it then means that the Okada man that carried you knew that you were coming, you were following that man to pick his pocket. I tell, I, I know you're me, I tell the Okada man that, man, I'm, I'm in picking pocket too, and I want to follow this man, to pick this man's pocket. 
nothing. Even though the man pack, you two you pack. You understand me? So if I, after taking the money, I will share your own and give him my own. And he agreed. And he agreed. Let's do you will do me a favor. Yes. For the benefit of those people who don't know that their pocket is going to be picked someday. Give us a typical example of how you get your victim. How you know that this man is having money or how you pick his pocket. Just describe this. It doesn't add now. As you as we stand in the bus stop, I look your pocket, the shape of your pocket. Your back pocket and your front pocket. Even your front pocket. You understand that if I want to pick your front pocket now I can in form of bringing acting like this, clean my face, you know, because they stay with me. So I'll just take the money. But when someone near you in the bus, if you want to know that somebody wants to pick your money in the bus, you have to be at a lot. Because maybe they can near you at the motor waving. Or somebody wants to stop, you will just take your money. But if you are being an a, a maybe they have taken your money, you have to understand that anytime. You went out in the bus, you will be vigilant. So nobody can pick your money. But if you don't be vigilant, they can take your money. Maybe till you come down, you will know that they took your money. Okay, now, like my pocket is now. Yes. If you look at me like this now. Yes. Do you think it's possible for somebody to pick my pocket like this? Yeah, some pocket like this. Yes. When you, will you, what would you, what would you assume is in my pocket now? Uh -uh. You can see the shape now. If I want to pick the pocket, I can sit down with you. Sometimes I buy envelope or magazine. I put it in a black nylon bag or this supermarket nylon bag. So I will put it on my leg and your own leg. You know, the bus tight. And you will know, your mind will not tell you that this man wants to pick your pocket. So is that nylon bag? I cover my lap and your own lap, eh, which you will not know, except person I pick your pocket. You will now realize when you get in the bus or you are urging for bus, like in form of you want to enter and you move to uh, be in a form of crowding. Eh, I can easily take your money and you will not know because you will focus your mind on getting the bus for you to have a seat to sit down. So your mind will not be with the, in the money. Your mind, your mind will not be that you have a money in your pocket or you have a money you keep somewhere. All your mind will be is for you to get a chance to sit down because maybe you are in the A's or time is against you, but you just want to fix your time, your time or you want to make the accurate time or you just want to complete where we are going. So I try that kind of time. It's an rushing hour. Nobody will know who wants to pick his money. So maybe you can pick your money before you get down. Or if you want to pay on a conductor, you realize that your money has gone. And you cannot see the person. Even though if I pick your money and you just harass me that I pick, I can't trade the money. You will not see the money in my hand. I can argue with you. Do you see him? Okay, let me search you. You can search me. Maybe I will have only maybe 1,000 or 500, I will just, are you mad? This is not my money. Do you see your money in my body? You will search me, okay, I'm sorry. It's, I'm, it's a mistake. So how do you see somebody and know that this person is going to pick your pocket? What will you, what okay. sign will you have, will you get? Okay, from an example now, when, I want to give you some clue. When you get to the bus stop, you see those people parading. Maybe as the bus is coming, they will rush before the passenger. And before the next bus stop, so we enter, before the next bus stop, they have got down. They don't have any destination, anywhere they are going. But maybe they have targeted somebody and they are following him. Maybe I saw you now, maybe I saw you in front of this bus stop. Okay, we enter the same bus. I will know that we cannot sit in the same place. Maybe you sit down in the front, <coughs> I will sit down in the back. So I will not be able to pick your money. So I will let you come down. When you come down, you two will come down. The next motor you enter, maybe I will enter your front and you will enter my side. 
So I will have a chance. Maybe I can put an envelope or a volatile iron bar. Just put it like this. I'm just looking. I will be monitor you whether you are looking at me. You understand? So before you know what's up, I pick your money. Maybe the next bus stop, I get down. Before you realize that somebody I pick your money, I get down. So the two of you, two pocket pickers, you work together on one person, particular person? It's very difficult too, because yes. it's very pocket picker, they doesn't work too because they are or say two of you understand yourself. And maybe I can say two of us are working pocket, maybe we will pick two hundred naira. I would want to share it. I will pick fifteen naira. You understand me? So pocket picker they doesn't like working in two or three. It's only one man work. What advice do you will you give to people? Who bought bus? What do you advise them to watch out for each time they are boarding a bus? And if time you are boarding a bus, you have to watch out now. You have to be vigilant. Anywhere in the world, policing is a joint business. It is not the monopoly or the exclusive preserve of law enforcement agencies alone. Therefore, all citizens living in this country are advised to exist in symbiotic relationship with the members of the police force. It is by cooperating with the force and vice versa, that is the police cooperating with the public, that together we can forge ahead in eliminating criminality in our society.